Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this unboxing. This is Comic Bento, and this is for their closeout sale. People who don't really know about Comic Bento, they were a company, well, I mean, I guess they still technically exist at the moment, but they were a trade comic book uh, company, as in the trades of like five to six issues of individual comic uh, releases all into one big book. So they would deal in just that, and it was a month, month, uh, I'm sorry, monthly subscription box where they you would get four or five for like, I think it was like 20 bucks before shipping and handling and all that, uh, but it was a really good deal. Excuse me. I just did another video on my, you know, my mouth is actually kind of dry, but so the closeout boxes they're doing is because they're going out of business. Uh, I will post, in addition to this video, the next day or two, I'm going to post an older one that I did, like maybe about a month or a little bit less than a month ago that was the wrong one uh, and this is them giving me the right one so basically with the closeout you can go and buy any of their past uh, monthly subscription boxes so they'll have kind of a list on there of what's in it so you can pick out specifically what you're looking for or you can also just get like a mystery one where you're just like for I think it's ten bucks uh, and then for me shipping was like seven dollars for for those monthly ones, but you could also just ask for a mystery one of four to five trade comics, or you can, for like 20 bucks plus shipping and handling, you can get eight to 10 trade comics. So if you want kind of like the mystery of it, which I thought about it, but then I was like, nah, there's some specific ones that I really want. So I'll just go with that. So the other video I'm gonna post, uh, the disclaimer on it, actually two things. One, the lighting's not very good because it's before I got this light here, uh, and so, Sorry about that. The lighting's not going to be like that anymore. It's going to be like this. The other thing is they made good. Uh, so in that video, I was kind of like, what the heck's going on? They sent me the wrong one. This sucks. But I contacted cu their customer service after I did the video. They were really awesome about it. And they're like, we're really sorry about that. Um, we're just going to send you the one you should have gotten and you can keep what you got. So doing it very right. And they didn't really need to do that because they're going out of business. So like, you know, they did it because they're good people is really what it was. They, they certainly didn't do it to keep a customer because they're not going to be in business anymore. So good on them. Comic Bento, your, you guys' customer service is legitimately good. So I had gotten the October one from last year because uh, there were some comics in there that I really did want and thought about getting it back at, uh, during that time. Uh, but then when I saw it was a closeout sale, I was like, okay, so first of all, I forgot to go get it before because I was thinking about it. But now I definitely can't pass on it because it was $10 plus $7 shipping and handling. So 17 bucks for like four trades, I was like, can't pass it up. Plus two of them in there, two of the four in there, I was like, I really want those because I've heard really good things. So I'll open this up for you and show you what's in there. It comes in plastic, which is smart because if... Sorry for the noise, but it's smart because if the box ends up sitting out in the rain because they can't control what UPS, um, USPS, or FedEx will do, you know. All right, so here's the first one. Very excited about this. R.L. Stein. Oh, God damn it! I'm sorry about that. You you can see it. All right, I'll do the best I can. I'll just put the halo. Okay, there we go. R.L. Stein's man thing. Okay. I know some people who aren't familiar with, with like, Man-Thing will just be like, isn't that, like, Swamp Thing? Like, what's the deal with that? Uh, apparently very similar to Swamp Thing, but, um, yeah, but different. Uh, but I've heard really good things about the Man-Thing comics, so when I saw that this was in there, I was like, ooh, definitely want to get that, check it out. So this is the Those Who Know Fear uh, story arc. Ooh, look at this. Chicks kissing man thing. Look at this. Look at it. Look at the man thing make out. Yeah, so I'll just show you like a little bit so you can get an idea of the artwork. I'm sorry for all the glare on it. My bad. See what you can. That's the problem with things like these ring lights. Oh, that's pretty cool. Kind of looks like... Hmm? Kind of looks a little like Yeti-like in that one because he's like gray. But that's cool. I'll read it for you then. After so many years of somber silence, Man-Thing has found his voice. Courtesy of beloved author R.L. Stein and taken, and taken Hollywood by storm. But when an 
ancient evil threatens his old swamp stomping ground, Man Thing will have to choose between his new life and celebrity and the world he used to call home. An old ally pays a visit, but everything else is out to get Man Thing, including crocodiles, bats, and mosquitoes. Oh my. Can the balance of the swamp be restored, or will the cause of this calamity be beyond Man Thing's control? Plus, bone chilling bonus horror tales from the master himself, R.L. Stein. Reading this will give you goosebumps, but beware, for whoever knows fear, for whoever knows fear burns at the man thing's touch. That's a little weird. I don't understand that. But it sounds cool. I mean, the part where it says crocodiles, bats, and mosquitoes, I assume the mosquitoes are like mutant level mosquitoes, but uh, it just sounds cool. It looks cool. It sounds cool. I've heard good things, so I'm excited. So, oh. Aha! Yeah, so this one was the one I was most excited about because I heard really good things about this. And my buddy Rich even confirmed that just the other day and was like, dude, yes, it's legit. Um, Archie Afterlife. So I don't know if people are fans of Archie, like the normal Archie stuff, like the old school Archie. But Archie Afterlife is kind of a new thing where they took it into the zombie area. From what I understand, Sabrina the Teenage Witch kind of has something to do with the zombie outbreak. Sorry, I don't know if that's really like a spoiler or not, but um, I've heard really good things about this. My buddy confirmed me. He's like, it's very well written. It it looks good. It's cool. So I'm very excited for this one. Pretty thick, too. I mean, like, look at the thickness of the man thing. Whoop, sorry. Man thing, not all that thick. Archie Afterlife, that's a big one. All right, so here we go. All hell breaks loose when a fateful accident sets in motion a series of terrifying events that will threaten the town of Riverdale like never before. When the dead begin to rise, craving human flesh, it's up to Archie, Betty, Ver and Veronica and the gang to fight for their lives against the zombie hordes led by their former pal, Jughead. Uh-oh, that's a big spoiler right there. Harvey Award-winning writer Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, uh who did the CW's Riverdale TV series and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and Eisner-winning artist Frances Francisco uh, Francavilla, uh, who did The Black Beetle and The Spirit, bring the apocalypse to the world of Archie in a tale that is both gruesome and heartbreaking. Sounds good. As you can see, pretty... It's interesting artwork. There's, like, a lot... At least in that portion, there's a lot of, like like one tone yeah that's kind of how the whole thing is like one color for each cell for each uh, comic cell yeah, I, panel I think it's called panel sorry I'm not like like I like comic books but I'm not like hip to comic lingo necessarily so sorry about that people um, yeah so I'm really excited about this one real excited most excited about that next is the Scourge. So, this one I haven't heard as much about, but uh, I read. I'm sorry. I read Room Org magazine, uh, my favorite magazine, amazing magazine out of Canada, and it's all like horror stuff. And they do uh, like two pages on um, co horror comic reviews, and they had The Scourge in there at one point, and they said it was pretty solid, a pretty good one. So. I was excited. I was like, you know, if there's two in there already that I really want, and then I've heard this is pretty solid, that's a big win. So, The Scourge. Uh, in mere hours, the greatest metropolis on the planet is turned into an island of horrors as a virus rapidly advances throughout the city, transforming its citizens into savage, bloodthirsty gargoyles. That sounds good. Amidst the outbreak, one man, NYPD SWAT officer John Griffin, finds himself as the last remaining hope to prevent the cataclysmic spread of the virus from the island of Manhattan, locating his estranged son within the chaos and saving the city itself from complete annihilation. From the innovative mind of acclaimed producer Gail Ann Hurd, who did The Walking Dead, Aliens, Terminator 2, and written by superstar writer and visionary Scott Lobdell, who did Uncanny X-Men and Happy Death Day, Featuring the astounding artwork of series artist Eric Battle, who did Green Lantern, and colors by David Curiel, who did Star Wars, the Scourge miniseries is set to infect your comic book collection like never before. So, Scourge. Let's see what's in the pages. There you go. Look at that. 
It's like some solid artwork. Let's see if I can find like one of these like ghoulie type thingamajigs in here. Okay, there we go. There's a nice big one. Look at this guy. He kind of looks like a really huge gremlin from like the movie Gremlins. Or, like scarier. This one's pretty thick too. Cool. Excited to get into that. And then the last one. The final one. I haven't heard anything about this. I know nothing about it. Uh, the Death Defying Dr. Mirage. And it's by Valiant. Oh, so by the way, Scourge was by Aspen Comics. Archie Afterlife is by... Um, doo -doo -doo. Who does it? Who does it? It says... Book one. Well, that's... Archie Comics. It's their own comics. Wow, I didn't know that. And Marvel does Man Thing. So, sorry. Yeah, so uh, The Death Defying Dr. Mirage by Valiant. Um, so, yeah, this looks cool. It looks cool. Like, the, that artwork looks really, really nice. I'm excited. Uh, and the picture on the back. Look at this. It's like all, like a piano made out of, like, all bones. That's pretty cool. All right, so death was just the beginning. Dr. Mirage talks to the dead, but the only spirit Shan Fong can't find is that, that of her late husband, Huen. Instead, America's favorite semi-retired paranormal investigator is haunted and raw, is haunted and raw using her gift to solve homicides and bring peace to the recently bereaved. But when a big-time occultist with a classified military past hires her for a special job, Shan discovers a lead that might close the greatest mystery she's ever tackled. How to get Huen back. Now, Dr. Mirage must enter the undiscovered country and cross all the realms of the underworld if she has any hope of rescuing the man she loves, or be forever lost beyond the earthly plane. From Eisner Award-nominated writer Jen Van Meter, who did Hopeless Savages and some Captain Marvel, and acclaimed artist Roberto De La Torre, who did Daredevil, comes the multiple Harvey Award-nominated series taking Valiant's spirited occult adventure beyond and back for a breathtaking, heartbreaking journey into the realms of the unknown. All right. Let's take a look inside. Oh, okay. That looks really good. I like this art style. Mm. Yeah, that art looks good. That art looks really good. I like it. I haven't really read much of any Valiant stuff. Actually, I've read exactly zero of it. So, <laughs> this will be my first foray into Valiant. So, I'm excited. Like, it's the story sounds really interesting. So, that's the comic bento. Like I said, I'm going to post the um, the video where they sent me the wrong one, like, in the next day or next two, two or three days or something like that. It depends on just when I get to it. So, the two disclaimers, once again, the lighting is not so good, so sorry about that. And the... Uh, they made really good like that's what this video is about and that's why I wanted to hold on to that other video put this one up first so people know that everything is good everything is more than A-OK -okay. their customer service did a great job and it's cool I mean what a deal uh, I'm pretty sure they're still selling their closeout boxes so you can go ahead and just search for Comic Bento online buy one of their closeout boxes well worth the money it's it's a huge deal it's a big 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 deal they say that each of those like uh monthly boxes is like worth about 50 bucks so if you're paying like me like 17 bucks for like 50 dollars of value you know you can't go wrong with that so uh awesome 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 uh the, i'm gonna say the obligatory stuff thank you for watching this please leave some comments down below if you want to talk about some comics you want to talk about these comics do you know anything about these comics um, let me know, well, I mean, don't give me, like, spoilers, but say, you know, I like them, I don't like them, or, you know, your takes on stuff, but let's start talking about some stuff down there, and, um, spread the word if you like my videos, go ahead and do likes, dislikes, however you feel on it, but do me the favor, please, of just hitting that subscribe, because it literally takes you, like, one second, painless for you, and it can mean a lot for me, and I would be very, very grateful, because I want to grow the channel, and I want to get to a point where I can do a lot more videos, I can do more unboxings, stuff like that, but I'm going to need to get a little cash, and a little revenue coming in, in order for me to expand into other boxes and stuff like that, so uh, if you please subscribe, if you want to know every single time that I put up a video, you can hit that little notification bell, and it will give you that info. 
Um, am I even pointing to the right place at the moment? Like on the screen, that's it, but maybe it's over here. I don't know. I, I wasn't really thinking about that. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.